So it was a, a couple of different ingredients. Uh, the principle or the message, I think, is community readiness is a really important thing to be thinking about uh, in terms of place-based work. And I'll also say um, I really strongly urge people to resist uh, choosing a place. I think it's much better for these things to emerge, to be fostered, to be supported at the place level. But uh, just choosing a place out of a hat or um, choosing a place from a strategic sensibility rather than an on the ground sensibility is really fraught. We've found that there are methods and methodologies to use where you can do that well. Uh, it's got to be intentional, it's got to be resourced, it's got to be thoughtful, it doesn't just happen. Uh, and certainly if you're trying to get um, the voice of parents and kids into decision making and governance processes, you've got to be very thoughtful about how that happens. Uh, if you're genuine about it, there's, to be honest, not many people really find steering committee meetings very interesting. Uh, so you've got to do different things to get that voice at the table. And I think everybody felt that the balance in terms of investment still is probably too weighted towards the uh, more reactionary crisis response um, uh, task and not enough of it's focused on the long term, making it better for everyone for the long term task. So there was a great appetite in government and still is, I would say, at every level of government in every jurisdiction. Uh, what we were able to do, I think, is um, position the work that we want to do in Logan through the Logan Together movement as part of the solution uh, to those um, interests. People can see a clear line of sight to actually our mission is about, um, mission delivery is about making the world a better place, making life better for people. Then they can look through some of the day-to-day -day concerns and find a way to act strategically and for the long term and collectively uh, for uh, some of the purposes that Logan Together is trying to promote. I think a critical element in any of these long-term strategic collective impact sort of campaigns is being really clear about what you're trying to achieve and being uh, as clear as you can be about whether you're moving towards that or away from that um, because uh, it's absolutely critical for those two things to happen if you want to galvanise action and bring the resources and the collective will together you've got to hang it on the really clear goal setting but the short answer is it's probably too early to tell and we have to be patient and we have to uh, have a sense of progress that's about um, these foundational things that you're doing in the early years that will then lead to outcomes and population outcomes for kids in the later years. It took us a little while to get to what in hindsight is probably a fairly obvious uh, goal which is growing little kids up well to the age of eight so we wanted to see um, big improvements for kids at age eight. Uh, and what we found is, uh, after a lot of discussions, we thought, you know, should we go to eight, you know, 18, should we go to 25, should we focus on youth issues, should we focus on particular early learning issues? We found if we framed it fairly broadly around kids um, being developmentally on track at age eight, uh, then you brought in just about everybody who had a role to play in that task. Everyone could find a thing to do, a role to play in helping to achieve that task. you have to have a tolerance for setting broad direction, strong, clear, top level goals, but how you go at it is through um, these iterative cycles. It's probably the biggest learning about how you do this work. Uh, the second thing I'd say is the often observed um, uh, true truth uh, that the culture is, that you establish with your partnership and with your collaboration is much more important than the plans that you make. Uh, so if you establish a good collaborative culture where people have got good relationships, they trust and hopefully like each other, they share the same goals, then the future largely starts to sort itself out. People work together, they spot opportunities and they do things that make a difference. Firstly, get a group of people together uh, who want to work together uh, and uh, with that group start to coalesce around the issue that you care about. Once you've chosen your issue, uh, try and set as sharp a goal as you possibly can around it uh, and then uh, set out the broad strategies that you would take to um, achieve that goal. 
bringing that sort of tangibility to it, that um, goal setting to it, uh, then puts you uh, in a totally different conversation with people who might want to support you. Because everyone wants to support outcomes, they don't necessarily want to support particular projects or particular processes. What we're finding in Logan is that we're starting to hit some systemic ceilings. The way that government invests in its highly fragmented way into communities like Logan is part of the problem. So we really do need to start thinking about social investment reform and the vehicle by which social investment reform can be enacted. So in short, uh, have a place-based framework, uh, have a community investment fund based on community readiness, invest in some shared platforms and really get your skates on around the vehicle around social policy um, or social investment that can span the uh, uh, levels of government and also the agencies within levels of government. Look, I think um, place-based uh, collective work is now a major concept in thinking in government, in the sector and in an increasing number of communities. So when we started, we had to really argue the case for having a crack at this sort of work. We don't, don't need to do that anymore. But overwhelmingly, I think people have got hope that this is a credible plan for change on some enduring social issues that we have um, perhaps previously thought we just had to live with. I think people can actually see a way that if you act long term, if you act strategically, if you act at a whole of community level around a particular place, you can conceive of a highly credible plan, uh, if a long term one, but a highly credible plan for how things can be better for everybody. Uh, so it's given hope uh, that um, we can make change on some of the toughest issues.